Coach, you can start us off with an opening statement. You know, my disappointment comes from uh, not lack of preparation, but being able to not lack of a preparation from an X's and O's standpoint. It really comes down to our lack of understanding and then executing a game plan. And then even within that, if the game plan needs to be scrapped, which our defensive game plan we did, and then making those adjustments, helping our kids get to a point where we make the necessary adjustments to understand there's only so many players on a roster. And you know, I basically played everyone tonight um, in order to find that rotation that could help us kind of stop the bleeding. You know, we, we obviously scored and we've been, sco we, excuse me, we've obviously struggled scoring. We've been doing that the majority of this year. But defensively, we've been doing a pretty good job of, of holding our own, and we just didn't do that tonight. And, you know, one of the things that I had on the board, and this is part of the preparation, is truly helping the players understand how good this team is, how they're going to play for 40 minutes, how they have multiple Division I transfers. I mean, you know, helping them understand that specifically when within the game without having to have your teeth punched in is something that I need to do a better job of helping out the for. So again, from an X's and O's standpoint, I'm confident that we knew what they're going to do and, and how they're going to execute it, but just our ability to execute within the game and then be able to make adjustments was really poor tonight. Extremely poor. There, there though, it seemed to be a little different in the second half. What, what was different about that? You guys were able to make shots at a more consistent basis. I think having that break at halftime with the, the players being able to communicate to each other as to what it is that they need to do, needed to do, um, which is you know giving them an opportunity to talk quietly away from the coaches, I think helped with that, as well as making a, a tweak in the, the starting lineup that came back in, you know by putting Kiani in, and she was she was doing a great job of being really aggressive, understanding that you know we can just stand out there and shoot the three, um, we need somebody else to step in for us defensively and, and help out. That was part of it. Um, and then obviously there to, to close out, Xandra Emanuel, you know, I need to trust statistics. I was saying earlier, I'm a stats minor in college, and statistically speaking, Xandra, the few minutes she has played every single time, she knocks it out of the park. And so the opportunity was definitely much overdue, and um, it's obvious that we would be playing her a lot more because she's effective for us. And, you know, in 15 minutes, a kid has, you know, near a, a double-double for us. And, she has the ability to get to the free throw line. I think even right now, I want to say she's uh, uh, her last game she played, she was four for four at the free throw line. So my ability to be able to trust that and trust putting other kids on the bench who statistically aren't doing so well for us is going to be important as we move forward. Have you, you mentioned that you guys have been struggling shooting throughout the season. Have you been able to pinpoint what exactly caused that? You know, first, you, as a coach, you're going to say, oh, maybe we're running too much, or maybe, you know, it's it's – the type of shots we're shooting, or maybe it's the drills that we're doing. Um, but McKinley can tell you the majority of our practice for the past week has been offense. It's been 70% offense, 30% defense. And um, no, I'll be honest with you, it's something that we're gonna have to keep looking at because with the kids that have returned, we have quite a few kids who can put the ball in the hole. Obviously, you know, Tasha Levin can put the ball in the hole. Uh, Taylor Deer can put the ball in the hole. Caitlin Wallace has been able to prove she put the ball in the hole. Uh, Amber. Jones has had some games where she's done well for us. McKinley, you know, when she was at Arkansas, had the ability to score as well. These are all kids that can score. It's just a matter of them, some of them getting their confidence back. It's just going to be a matter of them getting their confidence back. Yeah, and you did touch up on the defense. I mean, you guys have created 23 turnovers and had 14 steals, but it definitely was the, uh, the shooting. Would you say maybe they were rushing in uh, their shots or – Maybe the uh, St. Edwards was daring Texas State to shoot from outside? No, I think there's two things that happened. One, we started over dribbling. And, and I mean, think about how many times Tasha Levitt got stuck with two, three seconds left and had to jack up a three. That wasn't by design. You know, we're looking to score earlier than, than that within the shot clock. It's, it's part of its execution and truly understanding where your shots are going to come from. And again, that's going to have to come down to us adjusting our drills again and letting them know. This is where you're going to get your shot. This is how it's going to happen. Let's continue to drill that action so you'll see success in the game. Practices have to be tougher than game time, and um, that wasn't the case tonight. McGill, you were you were 